Question 20 of leak code, valid parentheses. So given a string S containing just the characters, open parentheses, closing parentheses, open curly brace, closing curly brace, and open square bracket and close square bracket, determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if one, the open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets. Open brackets must be closed in the correct order. So in the examples, we have an opening and closing bracket. This returns true because it follows a valid input string. So we have an open bracket followed by the same closing bracket. Example two is also true because we have open, close, open, close, open, close with respects to each different bracket. And then the last one, we have two different brackets, one open, one closed, and that's going to return false because, because it's not closed by the same type of bracket. So let's jump into the explanation. So with this question, the most important thing to remember is that it needs to be in the correct order. And that would suggest to use something like a stack data structure, right? So we can loop through this and we can input into the stack any opening brackets, and then we can check the counterpart to see if it's the corresponding closing bracket. So a stack data structure is simply an array, but the most important part of a stack data structure is the processing order. So the processing order is last in, first out. So say we added two curly braces and one square bracket in that order. The first one that we're going to be removing is the square bracket, right? So we're going to pop off from this stack data structure. Okay, so that's what a stack data structure is. So the way we're going to solve this is we're going to loop through this string. We're going to push in to the stack, all the values that are open. And then once we get to a closing bracket, we're going to check to see whether the open bracket is equal to the corresponding closing bracket. So we'll pop off a of stack, we'll have that current value, and then we'll check to see whether the next value is the counterpart. So is the brackets counterpart. So let's run through this first example. So we start looping through the string, we push in an open bracket. The next value that we're on, this one is a closing bracket. So what do we do here? Well, we need to check whether the previous bracket, whether the previous bracket is the same, but its counterpart. If we pop off a stack here, so we've got this open bracket. Now we need to check with the current value, which is this value. If they are not equal to each other, we can return false. But in this case, they are equal to each other. So we just loop through. The stack is now empty. We move to the next one. It's an open bracket. So we add that to the stack. The next value is a closing bracket. So what do we do? We pop off a stack. So nothing is in stack now. We check to see whether the square bracket does not equal the current value we're on, which is a closing bracket. If that is true, we return false. But in this case, we don't need to. We just move through this. So we go to the next position, which is an open curly brace. Add that into the stack. We move along. We check. We have a closing bracket. So we need to check whether the previous one in the stack is its counterpart. So we pop off the stack and we check whether this does not equal its closing counterpart. In which case, we exit this and we can just return true, right? And that will solve this example. However, say we have another example with all open brackets. Based on what we just did, we looped through and we pushed into the stack all the open brackets. So let's do that now. And now we have finished the loop. So if we use the previous example, it will return true. So we need to account for this. And the way we do this is we say if stack.length is equal to zero, return true. So if the stack has been emptied, we know we found all of the counterparts. And if not, it's going to return false anyways. Now there is one other example. If we have all closing brackets, we have a stack data structure. It's going to loop through and it only pushes in opening brackets into the stack. We have none. So when it gets to this position, it's going to look at the previous value for the stack. So it's going to try and pop off the stack, but there is nothing in the stack. So this is going to be undefined. So we need to create another case. And that is if the value we popped off a of stack, let's just call it prev value is equal to undefined. So if there isn't any previous value, return false. So when solving this problem, make sure you go through a number of different examples, just to make sure you've covered all edge cases. So time and space complexity, time complexity is O N because we need to traverse through the entire string. And then space complexity is also on. So very simple complexity. And that is because we are storing all the values within the stack. So let's initialize the stack data structure. Now we need to loop through the values in the string. We can extract string at i and just put it in a character variable. And then we can say if character is equal to an open bracket or is equal to a curly brace or 
is equal to an open square bracket, we can push into stack that value. Else, we need to get the previous value, which is going to equal stack.pop. So we're going to pop off the stack, because remember, stack data structure is last in, first out. And then we're just going to create a number of cases. So if prevval is equal to an open curly brace, and the character that we're currently on does not equal a close embrace, then the open brackets are not being closed in the correct order. So we can return false. And then we can do this for the other two cases. And the last case we discussed was if we have a test case where all of the values are closing brackets, we're going to have prev value equaling to undefined at this point. So if prev val is equal to undefined, we can also return false. And lastly, there was that base case we need to cover where it's all open brackets, right? So the string is all open brackets the stack is going to contain those values. So we need to make sure that the stack is emptied at the end. And the way we do that is we just say stack.length is equal to zero and we return that. Let's give this a go. Okay, so equal operator. Okay, so that's true. Let's submit it. And there you have it.